Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of One Man Stream. Today I'm very excited to be bringing you this episode because I'm talking about my very favorite topic and that topic is VMIX UTC and it's been quite a while since there's been any major developments in VMIX UTC and I'm happy to say that the project has once again been picked up and the gentleman that has done all the work on this project his name is Elgar. This is open source software so everyone can use this. Just to think about the number of hours that it's taken to put this program together. Uh, I'm sure it's been a huge chunk of time. And if you have a chance, and if you can, uh, please stop by. Uh, you can look over here. Let me get rid of me for just a second. If you look over here in the bottom uh, right hand corner there is a button that says donate and if you have if you can spare a few dollars or if you have the opportunity and you can put a few dollars towards this project i know that it would be very much appreciated hopefully this will allow uh, elgarf to go ahead and continue to make improvements to this fabulous software you so can see that this first post was actually from nine years ago and uh, this gentleman has been working on this uh, project for nine years and giving his time uh, as a one-man streamer it has made my my production so much easier. I'm able to handle a, a lot of the different tasks that go along with putting on a production and it just makes my life so much simpler. So that's my little PSA for this tutorial. But, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of look into uh, this new vMix UTC. It's dated 9-11 of 2025 and it's uh, quite an update because the uh, version that I was previously using I think it was uh, 2022. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the widget list and there are a few things in here that haven't been in here before and I'm going to be honest with you I haven't dove into a lot of these. Uh, but there is a button plus and I will uh, figure out what uh, that is for and have a tutorial coming up on that in the future. That is a new widget uh, in this version of vMix UTC. Variable viewer, that is another uh, new widget, widget in UTC. And the one that really has sparked my attention and this tutorial is really going to be about is the Stream Deck device. So you can natively control Stream Deck now through vMix UTC and it's going to make uh, programming your Stream Deck device so much easier. Uh, the multi-state, I didn't have much success with it in the previous versions, uh, but I'm told by some folks that have uh, played around with this a little bit more than I have that it is functional and now you won't have to have the vMix UTC screen active in order to, for the vMix UTC uh, commands to work. So that's going to be a, uh, a huge improvement. One of the things that I want to show you is when you open up one of your widgets, and we'll just open up this one right here, that when we do that, this is one really cool enhancement that I like, and it now will tell you the input number. I mean, before you had to kind of look over at your list and figure out where you were in vMix uh, in order to populate this information in vMix UTC. Now it tells you, if you click the drop down menu, now it tells you the input number. And it's going to make things so much easier going forward. So that's one thing uh, that, I, that I noticed and I really, really like. Another thing, and I can't remember if this has been in previous versions or not, uh, but when you're doing your uh, script construction, uh, you can turn the individual elements off and on. So if you're trying to uh, troubleshoot and figure out uh, what may or may not be going right uh, in your particular uh, script, uh, you can toggle these things off and on. I'm going to go to another one that has quite a bit of scripting in it. And it's this one right here, and you can see all the different pieces of script that go into uh, this particular button. Now, when you add a piece of script, if you click on it, and you, when you try to move it up, uh, you can see where it highlights it in green, and it makes it a little bit easier for you uh, to figure out where it is and where you're working with it. So I really like that. That's another enhancement. And if I click over here, I can click remove. Again, you can uh, click on this menu over here. You can move it up and down uh, within your script list. Uh, you can also duplicate it from right here as well. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. Now, something else that I really, really like is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fire off this right here. And you can see now to just kind of catch your eye a little bit more, you can see that this button kind of glows and goes off and on, brings your attention to it to let you know that you currently have this uh, overlay active. Another thing that I noticed with this uh, newer version of vMix UTC is when you're using uh, the lists, 
you have these little garbage pails right here and you can delete these items from the list right from here instead of having to go over to vmix and and delete them so you can just click on these buttons right here i don't want to get rid of any of these uh, elements uh, but you can kick uh, click on these uh, little garbage cans and it will uh, remove that uh, from your list that was just a really quick overview of of this updated version of vmix utc and like i said i haven't had a lot of time to dive into it but i will and as i learn more about it i will certainly share that uh, with you guys now the one thing that i did want to talk about today is this widget right here and it's the stream deck device well let me show you one thing you're going to see this right here that says vmix utc this is a stream deck plugin so you're going to have to install this uh, in uh, into your stream deck in order to get this new functionality so all i did was i double clicked on this and it installed it into my stream deck and i'm going to go ahead and bring my stream deck in and you can see over here now added is this little thing right here that says vmix utc and then this right here is shortcut all you have to do is grab this shortcut and bring it in and when you do that, it populates the information into the key. So now let me show you some of the things that I've already, uh, that I've already preloaded in here, and then I'll show you how you do it. Um, I'm going to click on this. When you click on it, it brings in this interface right here. And it's much like when you were using something as a MIDI device or from a keyboard. Click the plus button. Uh, you click learn and then when you click learn then you click a button on your stream deck and then it's going to bring that information here into contact and then what you do is you're going to bring in a link now i'm going to show you this one right here that says start round see it right here let's go ahead and get rid of this for or let's just move it out of the way we'll move it over here and that's this button right here so i'm going to click on start round and you can see that i have checked the execute link box and I have a link here that says start round. Let's go back to this. I click on this and you can see my link right here is start round and that is fixed to this key right here. That key is this key right here that says start. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my stream deck that I have set up and I'm gonna click the start button and when I, when I do, you can see these things start happening. It brings in this graphic right here. Uh, this graphic uh, shows the two competitors within this bout. It's going to count down for a while. After it counts down, it's going to bring in a, another smaller bug over here to the side. And this whole process is going to take us about a minute. So I think when it gets to about 35, you can see where it brings in this smaller indicator over here. And that's going to count us down to zero. And then when it counts down to zero, it's going to bring in uh, the corner bug. That, it, that all takes place by just pressing that one button on my stream deck. Of course, did all the scripting in vMix UTC, but I'm now, now I'm controlling uh, that particular button uh, using stream deck. We'll go ahead and do another one. Now let's bring this open again. And I have this one right here that says play commentary. I'm going to go ahead and click on that button on my stream deck. But look right here where it says play commentary right here. Uh, from this right here where it's, it actually says toggle matchup, it should say. And that's actually not commentary. That's actually commercial. So that's where that comes from. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the key on my stream deck once again. It's this key right here that says COM. And when I do that... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Zora Shrine and Event Center here in Terre Haute, Indiana. My name is Caleb Cox, and we're here to present you GE Fights and Coleman Kickboxing Entertainment presents Return of the Gladiators. Joined alongside with Tyler King and the controversy Cody Cox. Gentlemen, we've been here before. And you can see uh, where it brought in uh, that uh, it, that was not a commercial. That was actually opening, uh, but it could bring in a commercial or whatever type of video uh, that you have within that particular list. I'm going to show you how to create some of those buttons. I already showed you how to bring the shortcut into your uh, key. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up a matchup lower third. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to call this matchup. And I'm going to have to make the text a little bit smaller. And you can see where it showed up in this key right here. Now I'm going to go back over to this. 
And I'm going to open up this uh, widget that I started for my Stream Deck uh, commands. And I'm going to create one new one. And I'm going to click Learn. And I'm going to click on that Stream Deck button. You can see where that information comes in. And now I'm going to type in a link that's just going to say Match Up. Click OK. I'm going to go ahead and close this again. I'm going to come over here to my Match Up button that I created in vMix UTC. I'm going to check the Execute link. And then I'm going to type in Match Up. So now when I click this button on this button right here on my Stream Deck, it's going to bring that uh, Match Up lower third in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this button right here. And you can see where it brings in this matchup for this particular uh, fight that was getting ready to happen. So I click the button again, and it gets rid of it. That's because when I set these up initially, and let's go look at this one right here that says uh, toggle matchup, I use the overlay input X. And if you've heard me say it once, you've heard me say it a thousand times, overlay input X allows us to use it as a toggle. So now when I go back to my Stream Deck and I click that matchup button, I click it once it comes on, I click it again and it goes off. So within this one widget right here, the one that I've called Stream Deck Device, or the one that's called Stream Deck Device Widget, I've called it my Stream Deck Commands, I can uh, attach a task to every one of the buttons on my Stream Deck and it's only going to take up uh, the amount of space that you see right here. So that's super exciting. Um, the new Stream Deck integration uh, within vMix UTC. Uh, I'm so thankful that Elgarf has picked up the project again, and he started to uh, make some enhancements to it. And like I said earlier in this tutorial, if you get a chance, uh, please go ahead and click that donate button and show him a little bit of love for all the time uh, that he's put into this uh, particular program. If you like what we're doing here at One Man Stream, please give us a, a thumbs up and a like. Uh, make sure that you do subscribe so that you can be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. If you get a chance, stop by our online store. That's onemanstream.com. That's where we have all the graphics that we've created. Uh, during this channel journey, along with the vMix UTC controllers. Uh, they're all there. They're just a few dollars a piece, but it is a way that you can help support one man stream. And as always, thank you so much.